Good morning, boys and girls. Today I'm going to walk you through some sample problems from, from the IXL for the homework for today. Okay, so basically what we're going to do here, we're going to, um, we're going to go into the classroom and we're going to open the homework. Okay, the homework. You're going to see it in there. It'll be in there tomorrow. You're going to click on that link to the IXL. Okay, let's see here. When you get in there, it's going to give you some problems. Okay, and let's see here. We've got our problems. The radius of the circle is one mile. What is the circle's circumference? So what I want you guys to do is have this open. Okay. Have this open. And then in another tab, you're going to have... You're going to have your formulas open, right? These formulas right here, okay? And what you're looking for is, in this problem it says, let's see here. It tells us the radius is one mile, and it wants us to find the circumference. Okay, so you're going to look at those formulas. You're going to find the one that has the radius and the circumference. Okay, so circumference is equal to 2 pi times the radius. You can see right, right down here at the bottom left corner. Okay, my cursor is kind of going around it right now. Circumference equals 2 pi times the radius. So I'm going to do um, circumference equals 2 pi r. And it says use 3.14 for pi, right? Use 3.14 for pi. So we're going to replace pi with 3.14. And we're going to replace r with 1. Okay, we know the radius is 1. So c equals 2 times 3.14 times 1 times the radius. Okay, the radius, once again, the radius, let's see here. Just kind of color code all this stuff. Radius is 1, radius is right here, radius is right here. Okay, the circumference, the circumference is the distance around that circle. The circumference is how far it is around that circle. And the circumference is equal to 2 pi times the radius. So that's the circumference. So C is going to be equal to 6.28, okay? And if I go back to my IXL here, I can put in 6.28, and, and that's that, okay? I'm going to jump a few levels here. We're going to try a few more out. Okay, this one says the circumference of a circle is 18.84 yards. What is the radius? So again, we're looking for um, a formula that has a C and an R in it. So we just go back to our notes here. Again, circumference equals 2 pi times the radius. Okay, C equals 2 pi times the radius. So I can just, I can make that bigger now. Okay, and C is 18.84 okay the distance around this circle is 18.84 yards okay that's C and I'm trying to find R okay so I'm going to replace C with 18.84 and that's equal to 2 I'm going to replace pi with 3.14 and it's all still multiplied by r. And I replace pi with 3.14 because that's what the instructions tell me right there. Okay, there's pi. I'm going to replace it with 3.14.
and the radius again is what we're trying to find okay what is the circle's radius I'm trying to find R so I pick the equation the formula that has circumference and radius in it okay so 18.84 is equal to 6.28 times the radius. Now if I want to find what 1r is equal to, I divide both sides by 6.28. Divide both sides by 6.28 and that should give me r equals 3. Okay, if I minimize this, go back to my IXL, let's see if r equals 3. Okay, there we go, we got it, okay? And this is all you're doing, okay? In every problem, you are given, you are given one value in this relationship in the circle. I'm gonna make this small again, okay? That way I can get to my notes here, okay? I have the area of a circle, right? The area of the circle is 50.24 kilometers. So I'm looking for a formula that has area in it. And what I'm trying to find, it says, what is the circle's radius? So I want a formula that has area and radius in it. And it's, it's right over here under my cursor. Area equals pi times the radius squared. Okay, area equals pi times the radius squared. Area equals pi times the radius squared. You're just finding the equation that has all these values in it. And then you substitute the information you have, right? 50.2 equals 3.14 times the radius squared. Now, I replaced pi with 3.14. And my radius, I still haven't found that. That's still right here. And my area, right, the area we know is 50.24. The area is 50.24. That's everything inside. That's the whole shaded region. Okay, and the radius is the distance from the center to the edge. Okay, so now. All I need to do is divide both sides by 3.14. And let's see here, 50.24, 50.24 divided by 3.14 is 16. So 16 equals R squared. And if I want to know the value of 1r, I take the square root of both sides, and I have 4 equals r. I go back to my IXL, and I put a 4 right in there, and I move on. Okay, that's all you're doing, boys and girls. Find the formula that you need. You have them there in the classroom, right? If you go, if you go back here, into your assignments. This looks a little bit different for you because this is mine, but they're gonna be in your assignments right in this stream, right? Homework, exit tickets, lecture notes. Right here are the lecture notes, right? There it is. Right there, you click on it, you've got all your formulas. I hope this is helpful. And if you have questions, pop into, um, pop into the Zoom room at uh, one o'clock today.